Joining us now is David Kenny, the CEO of Nielsen, who also holds the title of Chief Diversity Officer. David, thanks for joining us. Just about that title, why did you decide to appoint yourself Chief Diversity Officer as well as CEO and not perhaps someone that is diverse? Well, thank you, Sarah. That's a really good question. And uh, I'm fortunate to have a very diverse team helping me. And they encouraged me last year to take the title on. Uh, I think there are three reasons for now uh, that it made sense. One is power. Uh, there is no more powerful position than the CEO. And quite honestly, this isn't going to change if uh, the people with power don't use that power to change it. The second is culture, uh, to make sure that we're talking about uh, inclusion at every level, at equality at every level, um, and that it uh, is front and center in the boardroom and in the management uh, room. And I think thirdly, accountability, the fact that we could set hard targets uh, for ourselves and, uh, and make those transparent to our board and, uh, and measure them the same way we measure other outcomes like financial results. And, and David, I, I believe you took on this, uh, this extra title uh, just over a year ago. Uh, what hard targets did you set then and, and how many of them have you hit already? So we set a couple that were important. Uh, one is to make sure that we've got good representation at every level. Uh, we're lucky that uh, we're at 38. Eight point seven percent of our total population in America, where we measure uh, racial diversity, are people of color, um, and that has improved. Uh, but we also have targets at every level. Uh, we're getting, you know, close to those targets at at my level, my direct reports. But in the middle, there's some levels we really need to work on. Um, secondly, I'm I'm really pleased that we're doing better on gender diversity as well. Forty percent of our uh, senior positions are filled by women. Obviously, that should be fifty. Uh, and so we're, you know, we, we've got continued work to do there as well. David, you guys and your business measure everything. I mean, I go there every Friday for some consumer staples, especially during this pandemic numbers. Can we measure this? I mean, can you do a cross industry, cross company metric where you can actually track the diversity numbers and the gender numbers to make sure that companies are holding up their promises? Well, certainly, Sarah, it's measurable. The, the question is to what degree are companies willing to share it transparently. Um, and I think we are, you know, certainly encouraging that. Um, I would say, but you've got to make sure you measure it right uh, and independently and transparently like the other things we do. Um, secondly, in the, in the media side of our business, we're working with a number of broadcasters and studios to measure inclusion in casting, in performers, in uh, presenters, so that, uh, you know, we in advertising, to really make sure that uh, media is doing all it can uh, to help change the, the culture and the dynamic and the conversation in America and the world.